Hello and welcome. Today, we're going to improve a character creator character for use inside Unreal Engine 5 by increasing its triangle count inside Blender. We begin today inside Unreal Engine 5 and we will take a look at my imported character. As we can see by looking at the ear, the ear could be better. We're going to smooth out the mesh using Blender. Let's do that now. To proceed today, you're going to need some plugins for Unreal Engine 5 and Blender. The first I advise you to obtain is before you import your character into Unreal Engine 5, download the latest auto setup for Unreal Engine from Reillusion. They have improved it. It is now has better hair and better materials. The current version is 1.24 and it is a free download from the website. I already have a tutorial on my channel about how to import character creator for characters into Unreal Engine using this plugin. The next thing you will require is SK Keeper from the Blender Marketplace for $5 or you can go to GitHub and get it for free. But if you can, support the developer by purchasing it for $5. You're going to need the Autodesk FBX Converter. It's freely available from Autodesk. Just Google it and download the correct one for your machine. And then we can proceed. With those prerequisites dealt with, let's move on. Now, normally I would advise to simply go to our mesh and export this way. But what I'm actually going to do is take the original mesh from character creator and import that into blender instead so let me find that so here is mine this is the original fbx that got exported from character creator this is the one i imported into the engine to bring this character in okay so i need to know where that is for the next stage so here is the autodesk fbx converter and what i'm going to do is drag in my fbx file uh I, let me just bring this over to the uh, correct window so you can see what i'm doing here we go and here is my fbx from character creator and i just want to drag that in like so we can now move this out of the way and then i'm going to hit convert like so and what that will do, let me drag back the file explorer again. In this, it will create a folder, FBX 2013. And in this folder is what looks like a copy of my FBX file, but it is in fact a converted one. And so we're going to be importing this into Blender next. So let's open up Blender. Today I'm using Blender 3.2.1. What I'm going to do is come up to edit preferences and type SK Keeper. By now, you should have installed your Blender plugin, SK Keeper. And we would do that by just, if you've never done it before, for whatever reason, you come to add-ons, click install, find your zip file you've downloaded, and it will just install. Then we just check here, and that's it. What this does, if we go to object, it adds these menu options here, which we'll get to shortly. Okay, so let's A to select everything and X to delete. And let's import our character. Go to import, FBX, and here is the FBX 2013 folder. I select my FBX file, uncheck animation, and I'm not going to touch anything else. Import. And here is our character. First thing I want to do is just check out the meshes look. I've done it this way because if you export from Unreal Engine 5, it's going to join all these meshes together. Now that might be something that you want, but in this case, I only want to modify the body. I'm not interested in modifying the clothing or 
anything for the sake of this tutorial, but normally I would do that. I would, if we go into uh, wireframe mode, you can, if we turn off the body look, you can increase the, the count of your clothing. You can make the mesh denser, but I won't be doing that today. I just want to focus on this body. So with the body selected, what I want to do is come here to modify your properties. And I'm going to add a subdivision surface. It may take a moment and we're going to drag that up like so. You will get this warning here. In my experience, it renders out absolutely fine. I'm not going to alter any of this. I just want to increase the count slightly. So I won't be going any further than this, but you can alter these values here. Right. So the reason for the plugin is simple. If you were to come here now and apply, it won't apply because there's shape keys. Look, modifier cannot be applied to a mesh with shape keys. OK, and so what we can do now with the plugin enabled is go to object and apply all subdivision and keep shape keys. OK, click it and it may take a while to do this. And that's it. We now have a denser mesh to import into the engine. I'm going to select the mesh. I'm just going to shade smooth. I will select everything here. You can just do A to select everything. And what I'm going to do now is export FBX. I'm going to not put it in the 2013 folder. I'm going to name it something M from Blender. There we go. And I want to select selected objects. Come to geometry and I'm going to choose face, armature, uncheck, add leaf bones and uncheck bake animation. And I think for now, that is it. So let's export. Now we need to jump back over to Unreal Engine 5. OK, here we are back inside Unreal Engine 5. Let's just quickly open up our mesh and look at it in better light. There we go. So that is what we're looking at now. Try and remember that. And what I'm going to do, there are two ways of doing this. You can either import your improved character as a separate mesh, or you can just overwrite this one and re-import with new file. Find our M from Blender version two that we've just exported from Blender and hit open. Depending on your triangle count, it will take a while. Right, so that's it. Our character is now re-imported and we zoom into the ear. Remember, I didn't go crazy with uh, the smoothing, but as you can see, the ear is now rounder and our triangle count has jumped up to 127,200. More importantly, let's move on to our face and let's make sure our eyes blink. There they go. There we go. Right, so everything's working fine and you have a denser mesh to work with now. You may want to repeat this process or do it at the same time, improve the quality of the clothing, etc. And if you've got the machine to do it, of course, let's just have a little look in context. Let's look at this ear under the normal lighting that I'm using. And as you can see, it's improved a lot. If you would like to support the channel, you can go to the link in the description and buy me a coffee from buymeacoffee.com. Alternatively, you can click the thanks button underneath this video and help that way. More tutorials are on the way, but for now, could you please hit the like and subscribe button and comment below with any questions. I will see you in the next one.